In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can convert a floor into multiple parts, which will allow us to change the finish layer in multiple rooms. To start with, I am going to select the floor here on the second floor level, and then in my Modify Floors tab, in the Create panel, I'm going to select Create Parts. That has now taken that floor and separated all of the individual levels. I'm going to switch to a section view and zoom in on this floor. And as you can see, it's one selectable item right now. So even though I created parts out of this floor, you have to change the visibility in each view where you want to see the parts. So here in the properties of the view, you can see that parts visibility is currently set to show original. I'm going to set this to show parts. It is now showing the individual parts. And as you can see, I can actually select the individual layers. So there's the finished layer, there is the subfloor layer, and then the structure itself. Now that I have split the floor into individual parts, I'm going to separate some of the rooms out. I'm going to move to my second floor plan. Once again, this is set per view. This is currently set to show original. I'm going to set this to show parts. Now when I set this to show parts, the floor is actually going to disappear because technically it's right below the current level. To adjust this, I'm going to change my view range. I'll find my view range here in the properties and edit it. Then on the view depth, I'm going to set this to negative one inch. Then click OK. Now you can see that I can actually see the floor. Next, I'm going to select this top layer of the floor, the finished layer, and in my ribbon, I'm going to select Divide Parts. Next, I'm going to select Edit Sketch so I can draw the individual locations. So using the Line tool or the Pick Lines tool, I'm going to draw in the individual areas that I want to be different. So I'm going to take this bathroom here and create a closed shape around it. I'm also going to do the same for this room here. And then one more for the bedroom over here. And on this one, I'm going to include the closet. So here I have a bedroom, a hall bathroom, and then the master bathroom. I'll go ahead and select finish. And that was just to finish the sketch. So now I'll go ahead and select finish to finish the separation of the parts. Now you can see that those areas are individually selectable while the rest of the building is still one floor. Now I can select the parts and adjust their materials over here in the properties. I'll scroll down and I can see that it's currently set to the wood joist floor here and the material is wood flooring and it's grayed out. I can't change it. What I want to do is deselect material by original. Then I will be able to adjust the material. I'll select the three dots here. That will bring up my material browser and I'm just going to search for carpet here. And I'll select carpet two for this particular one, then click OK. I've now changed that material. Similarly, I am going to change the two bathrooms to tile. So I'll hold control to select both of those. Clear material by original, open up the material browser and look for tile and select it then click OK. Let's switch to the 3D view so that we can see those materials. So here I am in shaded mode. I can go ahead and set this to realistic and get a better view of what those materials are going to look like. And there we can see the carpet in the bedroom and closet and then the tiling in the two bathrooms. I'm also going to create some parts in the basement. As I look at this section view of the basement, we can see that the basement is just simply concrete. And I don't want to split that into separate parts because I don't want to actually replace the concrete. I want to add a finish layer on top of it. So I'm going to switch to my basement level here. Then I'm going to select my floor and edit type. I'm then going to duplicate it. Then I'm going to adjust the name in here just a little bit. 
I am going to add in the words with finish in here. Then I'll click OK. Then I will edit the structure. I'm going to select row number one and select insert to bring a new layer in. I'm going to change its function to finish one and I'm going to adjust its material to carpet. And then okay. Then I'll give it a thickness here. So we'll make this three quarters of an inch thick. Then I can click OK and OK again. Now if I switch back to my 3D section view, I can see that I have a new layer of red carpet on top. So as I did with the second floor, I am going to move to the basement level, select the floor, and then create parts. Then once more, the floor is going to disappear, so I'm going to need to edit my view range and set the depth to negative one inch. Then I can go ahead and select that top layer and use my divide parts tool again. Then edit sketch and sketch in the areas that I want to divide. So I'm going to divide this room over here on the right side of the building. And then I'm also going to divide this section in the back, including these two smaller rooms as well. Then I'll finish sketch and finish the division there. So now once again, I have three separate areas. I'm going to adjust the material of the right side room here. So as we did on the second floor, I am going to turn off material by original. Then I'm going to select carpet two this time for that one. If I want, I can switch this to shaded mode so I can actually see the different colors coming in here. The last thing I want to do is in this back room area, this is going to be my mechanical room and some storage. So I actually don't want any finished layer. I want it to just have the concrete floor. So I'm going to select this top layer here. Then in my ribbon, I'm going to select exclude parts. And then I can click away from it. Now it is just going to show the concrete in that area. It will not have that extra finished layer on top of it. I'll go ahead and switch to realistic so we can see those materials a little bit better in here. That concludes this look at dividing a floor into parts and adjusting their finished materials.